This video is about trigonometry, i.e. how to use a sine, cos or tan button on your calculator to work out missing sides or missing angles in right angle triangles. This stuff here is going to tell you everything you need to know and these are the kind of examples of using this. Okay, first of all, every single question has an angle involved in it, either an angle you know or an angle you need to know to work out, i.e. Anyway, um, so I've got an angle marked in my uh, example triangle and uh, the sign button basically tells you the answer to this side divided by this side the opposite side to the angle divided by the hypotenuse now by the way if you don't know what these how these sides are labeled this side is the opposite because it's opposite this angle this side is the hypotenuse because the longest side in a right angle triangle is always called the hypotenuse and this side is called the adjacent because it's next to the angle adjacent means next to anyway so that's that covered so sine tells you the opposite divided by the hypotenuse tan tells you, the tan button on your calculator tells you the opposite side divided by the adjacent if you tell it the angle. All of these uh, buttons, sine, cos and tan, need to know the angle over here to tell you the answer to this side of it this side divided by that, or that side divided by that, or that side divided by that, yeah? Okay, um, and by the way, these arrows, that's what they're telling you, they're saying this side divided by that side, not that side divided by that side, okay? That's what the arrows are all about. Now, how on earth will um, a calculator know the answer to this side divided by this side just by knowing this angle? Uh, well, any triangle, okay, that is a right angle triangle, and say this is 25 degrees, right? Any triangle that's got 25 degrees here and is a right angle triangle will be similar to any other triangle that's uh, got 25 degrees and is a right angle triangle. That means this side divided by this side will be the same for any triangle that's got 25 degrees and 90 degrees there. So basically, um, it uses the idea of similar triangles, this topic, trigonometry. And if you don't know about similar triangles, go and check it out on my website. Okay, so that's that, and those are the basics of it all. Um, let's get on with the actual examples, and we'll whiz through them because they're really explaining the same thing over and over and again. Okay, like uh, this one over here, you've got an opposite side and an adjacent side being used, opposite to the angle and adjacent to the angle. So all I write is tan 41 because you can you have when you use the tan button or the sine button or the cos button, you always write the angle next to it, okay? Because it needs to know what angle it is to tell you the answer to this side divided by this side or whatever. Okay, so um, the tan button says I want to uh, use the opposite and the adjacent side. That's why we're using tan, okay? Opposite and adjacent means tan. Okay, and those are the sides I've got involved in my question. So I'll write tan 41 is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. Okay, now if tan 41, if I put that in my calculator, it gives me an answer, a long, long number, right? And I don't want to write that long number, so I just keep writing tan 41 to kind of symbolize it or whatever you want to call it. So tan 41 is equal to x divided by 12. And if I want to work out x, and I know what tan 41 is in my calculator, right? If I want to work out x, I simply move that divide by 12 to the other side of the equal sign, and I get 12 times tan 41 is equal to x is equal to 10.4. And if you don't know how to rearrange equations like I just did, go to the SIGMAS website and there's a video on basic equations and you'll find out there. Right, let's see another example. I've got, this time, I've got the opposite side to my angle and the hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse, let's check this thing out. Opposite and hypotenuse, it means sine. And uh, sine tells me the answer to opposite divided by hypotenuse. So opposite divided by hypotenuse is the answer to sine 62. So I type in sine 62, and I do 4.7 divided by m, and blah, 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 rearrange it, and I get m equals 5.3. I'm trying to talk really quickly just to get through all this boring stuff because it's kind of the same stuff over and over again. Um, let's see another one. I've got the adjacent side to the angle and the hypotenuse. So basically, I'm going to do which one? Which one am I going to do? Adjacent and hypotenuse. Oh, this is the arrow that connects it, and the arrow tells me cos tells me the answer to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So cos 16, my angle, okay, is equal to y divided by 12.4. The adjacent 
divided by the hypotenuse. Rearrange that, and I get y is equal to 11.9. Remember, cos 16 is a number, okay, and uh, to work out y, I do that number times 12.4, and I get 11.9. Anyway, let's work out the angles, because we haven't been doing that so far, we've just been working out lengths of sides. Uh, so, to work out an angle, we just use the reverse tan, or reverse sine, or reverse cos button. And the reverse tan button is called the arc tan, the reverse sine button is called the arc sine, and the reverse cos button is called the arc cos. Okay, actually, um, you should know that people don't use the term arctan so much except for A-level now uh, because you really have to. Uh, instead what they do is go by the convention on the calculators which is this thing here. So on your calculators you won't see arctan, you'll see tan to the minus one. It does not actually mean tan to the power of minus one. It just written like that, yeah? Um, it just means reverse of tan, actually. So, basically, instead of that, you'll see that. Instead of arc sine, you'll see sine to the minus one. Okay, so just know that. Now, why do you need the reverse button? Because the normal tan, sine, and cos buttons, what they do, they, you have to input an angle, and the output is the answer to one side divided by the other, right? So, the reverse tan button, for example, takes one side divided by the other, and so, so, so since it's tan, it's going to be the opposite divided by the adjacent, right? So, it in, the input for arc tan, the reverse tan button, is the two sides divided by each other, the opposite divided by the adjacent, and the output is the angle. This one is the input is the angle, and output is sides. This one is input is sides, output is angle. Okay, and so this one is really easy because all you do is stick in the input the uh, four divided by three into the arc tan button, and out comes fifty three point one degrees. Okay, which is the value of n. And this one is uh, using the opposite in the hypotenuse, which means is sine. And the way sine works is the opposite divided by hypotenuse. So you do arc sine eight divided by nine, and you stick that in, and out comes the answer straight away, 62.7 degrees. And the same with arc cos. By the way, you can use your own whatever division symbol you want. Yeah. Um, you can do the fraction symbol for division, the other line and two dots division symbol, whatever, and you just stick it in, and out comes the answer. This one's uh, arc cos because it's the opposite and the adjacent. Now let's quickly do a quick one with um, 3D trigonometry. It's all the same stuff, really. You got a right angle triangle. Can you see it? Can you see my right angle inside this cuboid shape? So the height of the cuboid is four, so the height of the triangle is so four also, and uh, got this hypotenuse which is stretching from the front corner to the back corner of the cuboid which is length 8 okay and I want to work out this angle X you can't can you see it clearly I don't know but anyway so that's the angle X I want to work out so I want to use the reverse uh, buttons yeah because when you want to work out an angle you use, use the reverse buttons of, the tri uh, of one of these buttons here so since it's opposite and it's hypotenuse I know it's the sign button but not the normal sign button, the reverse sign button, the arc sign, yeah? And uh, by the way, how do you get the reverse sign button which comes out like this on your calculator? Uh, you usually press shift and then the sign button, the normal sign button, it actually tells you the reverse sign button. Okay? I'm sure you probably know that already, it's quite easy to work out on your calculator. Uh, or the second button, second function button on some calculators. On the Casio one that everybody uses, most people use is shift, isn't it? Anyway, so um, you do... Uh, uh, where were we? Oh, here we go. Uh, to work out angle X, you just do arc sine 4 over 8, and you get the answer 30 degrees. In this question, uh, the answer is perfectly 30 degrees. Normally, it's something, some really long answer, but sometimes you do get exactly 30 degrees, or whatever degrees. And that